Okay. Now this one, I have no idea. I don't know if we're allowed to go through the water, but I wonder if I haven't touched it. Can, oh. I, just, can I just take it through the water? Ooh, I can. What? That is cheating. <laughs> Got an eagle. Hey, it's me and Potato. Oh, I can't turn my head. I have to keep my head still. It's me and Potato. I can't move my head or the camera will move on you. We're going to teach everybody out there how to cheat the crap out of disc golf today. So we're going to try and take, we're going to try to see if we can take the global top number one score uh, by cheating our way through it. Are you ready, Potato? I am ready. So number one method here, one of the best ways, I think, go to your backpack. Get, right. your ca get your camera out and just hold it in your hand. All right. Now we're just going to tap these little puppies across the course. Oh, all right. Yeah. Okay. I know exactly what you're, I know exactly what you're talking about, but I'm, I'm on the quest. <laughs> this six is not the same on the quest. Oh, all right. Pick it up with not the playing. That started to work. Can you pick it up with the camera and then just walk? Yeah, but I can't move very quickly. Otherwise it glitches through the camera. Okay, well, we'll use my method for both of us. <laughs> we'll both, we'll both get over there. All right, so if you're playing on the Quest, this does not work because for some reason the physics on the Quest works different for all the other headsets. But uh, I do know exactly what he's talking about. This is a really good method, and it actually doesn't require to either, uh, pick up the, the disc at all. I think you have to pick it up at the right, end, and then there we go. Okay. Two. <laughs> I've got another method. You stay here. I'll be right back. Now this one I'm not as sure about. Oh, yeah. It might count as a stroke to put it in there is the only problem. So this might yeah, I think it two does. Strokes. Oh wait. Oh okay. I thought I was. Oh I thought I was. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now we're just gonna drag this thing right, over. Then... Now can we get oh. them out without messing this up? That's the question. Get in there. Get, get in there. Okay. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna do a hybrid. I'm gonna use my camera and try and knock them out. <laughs> because I don't want to pick mine up and have it count as another stroke. Oh. Oh gosh. Oh, okay. They got knocked out. Okay. <laughs> now, now we're gonna try and tap them and see. Since we already did our first stroke, will this count? <laughs> Yay! Hold one. one. Yay. Hold one. <laughs> now this one's risky. We have to get through there. We have to get that stroke yep. taken off. So we've got yep. to. We probably should, what do you think? Should we grab these and glitch walk up to it? Uh, you can, but that means you need more than one stroke. No, because we'll get... I don't know, what would we'll, be the best Then we'll smack them over there. We need to get them for now. But we can't miss all this right, shot, yeah. bro. We can't miss the shot. We're going to screw it all up. I'm scared. Yeah. I'm scared. I always miss. Okay. <laughs> okay. So just people that uh, don't know how to glitch walk, you don't really need to do it for this. But um, just because when you have the frisbee, you can't walk. So you basically, the easiest way to do it is if you just take a step in real life, 180 in, one, uh, in the game, and then take a step back in real life, 180 in the game, and then take a step forward, and then very slowly you can start going, and then when you get better at it, you kind of just like lean in the direction, and like, yeah, it's, it's, it's a, it gets a bit more difficult, but that's like walking in backwards and forwards is the easiest way. So, There we go. <laughs> so now, oh, do clipboards work? I've never tried that. Maybe. Hey, clipboards Probably. work. That's yeah. even easier. <laughs> oh no, my frisbee. <laughs> so apparently, this kind of cheating only works real well on PC or PSVR. So you're gonna have to, yeah. if you're on a quest, you're gonna have, have to learn the glitch walk <laughs> to do this. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! I almost oh. thought I was gonna make oh, that. That almost went right in. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, oh I was so close. Oh. <laughs> All right, I actually might be able to pick it up and carry it over. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> <Inch it over. laughs> I think you need to hit it like in, in the pole really hard to get over. Minus yeah. three albatross, let's go, man. Let's go. Okay. Now this one, I have no idea. I don't know if we're allowed to go through the water, but I wonder if I haven't touched it, can, oh. I, just, can I just take it through the water? Ooh, I can. What? That is cheating. <laughs> Got an eagle. 
We definitely need to knock them across the water here because if you pick it up, you're gonna be ass. Oh, this oh, one is short enough that I can okay. actually just glitch walk over there. Uh, this hill is sometimes annoying. <laughs> this is no, actually it just harder. pushed me back up. This is harder than real golf. Than the real golfing is. I'm like, I'm like sweating here from smacking these things across the ground. Yeah, you actually took an extra stroke because you did your method. Glitch walking is actually takes way longer where you get less strokes. So we're gonna have to test that. So you guys should glitch walk every hole if you can. All right. Okay, we need to throw them through there because we need to get the stroke off. Oh, that's true. Why don't, why don't it just cancel out? Don't we already have an extra stroke? So we have to pick it up to throw it back in again. Huh. You might be right. Skip it if you want and see what happens. <laughs> I'll get there eventually. <laughs> You're so close. Alright. There we go. Yeah. Now we're now we're Wait, how did again. I get an extra stroke? I don't know. So I, I oh no, you got a thing. You didn't put yours through the thing, did you? Wait, my brain. No, I didn't. No, I okay. didn't think it was gonna matter. Wait. So it does matter because apparently it knocks it off your total, not just that hole. Gotta, my brain is not big enough to comprehend this. You gotta glitch walk, <laughs> glitch walk your way, and this hole will tell us for sure. Glitch walk your way, and if you're ahead of me, then glitch walking is definitely the way to do this. Oh my goodness, two more holes. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get one lower than you. You got an eagle, not a hole in one. So Ah, so it counts as a hole in one if you glitch walk. So now we know you technically should glitch walk every hole, but it's going to take a lot of time. Yeah, even if you're wide, you're not actually turning in real life. Like you're only stepping forward and backwards for like a basic, or like for a basic way, you're only stepping forwards and backwards. Yes, the hole in one. Okay. I'm gonna try to glitch walk this hole so you who are looking at my face cam can see kind of what it looks like. I'm not very good at it though, so it's gonna it's gonna be hard. I'm gonna step ahead, do a little cheat right here. What? I'm gonna pick this up a little yeah. closer to the hole to save myself some glitch walking. Okay. I mean, you could do it like if you're not trying to probably just do the beginning method, just step yep, forward, step, step forward, backwards, and just turn in game. Step backwards, turn. Step forward. This is gonna take forever. I mean, yeah, you can. As long as, like, you can also just try constantly turning in game and then just, like, rotating so that way your body's always leaning in the direction of goal, if that makes sense. Like, that's what I'm doing now. So I'm just constantly turning and then just making sure my head is always in the direction of the, um, the flag. See, I told so you I have to, like, keep, like... He's a pro at this. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, cheat, once more. I'm gonna cheat once more. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Hole yeah. in one. Okay, this is the real decider here because you have to make it through the two. And I'm not gonna glitch walk all the way out down this hole. So I'm gonna knock mine down to where uh, I can pick it up. And then I'm gonna try to hit the two. Now there's yeah, one there's true. one last it's supposed because it way. Still counts. There's one last supposed way we haven't told you about to cheat yet. Supposedly it doesn't count as additional strokes. If you hold it, you toss it and run and catch it real quick. And toss it and run and catch it. Supposedly if it never hits the oh, ground. Oh no, I know what you're talking about. Supposedly Yeah, I can I can I can count. I can show that one. No no, no it, it does count, but I, I know the actual way to do it. Okay. Well it, it, if you could try to do that with this too, maybe you can save yourself the stroke if you miss. That's that's the big question. No, no, right, because if, if, if it leaves your hand, then yeah. it counts as a stroke. But if you catch it fast enough, then it doesn't. But, oh. like, I'll show you what I mean. We can't do it here. I'll show you what I mean when we, After, when okay. we restart. Okay, you go <laughs> ahead. You make it in the two, buddy. Quick. I'm really nervous about this one, to be honest. All right, just going to... Oh! <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so bad. Oh no, I missed two. <laughs> That's so hard. 
Is it is it worth me still trying to hit it once more? I'm not sure. I mean, I tried a second time, and that's not worth it after that point. So you could still get minus, so like you could still get an extra stroke if you throw it in. Not worth it anymore. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> Where's my hand? All right, I'm just gonna have to play the game normally. I think. I think I might have hazarded that. No, I think I could still smack yours in. Oh, no, I got it. Oh. I, I think if I smack well, yours in now, I... it won't count as another stroke. Do it. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see if, if we, uh, yeah, let's see if we have the same score or not. Oh my gosh, you did so much better than me because of that one hole. Because of the minus two and because of that. Game over. Oh man. <laughs> Show me the method it's you were talking about more. real quick. Alright, I'm pretty sure I know how to do it. it I don't know, like, I, I, have a, I know what it looks like, but I'm not sure if there's anything Game else on. like going on behind the scenes. Alright, so... What it looked like they were doing is you just pick up the thing and then you just constantly like oh. let go and grab again. See, I'm still on stroke one. I feel like I could have glitch walked about this fast. Dude, my finger. Oh my god. <laughs> you need to switch fingers. The trick is if you if you don't grab it too fast, you move a little faster, but you might drop it, so you gotta be careful. But if I wait just a split yeah, second not... more to grab it, I move a lot faster. And I'm not sure whether it's depending on, like, I'm not sure how long it has to be out of your hand before it counts as an extra stroke, so taking longer to re-grab it might count as an extra stroke. Yeah, it hasn't yet. I'm still on stroke one. I'm almost there. Yeah, I, I'm not sure exactly. I'm not sure on the specifics of this. Like that's the first time I've ever did, uh, ever done it. But um, I've seen other people do it, which is like... hole in one. Okay. All right. So the other method I was thinking of that you could do, which is like only for quest users, this is if you have the massive brain, you can just make your play space like go to the longest part of your house and make your play space huge. Just make it super long. It makes glitch walking really, really easy. If I just grab it, I can just walk in real life all the way over here. <laughs> then just turn around once and then just walk back. You have to turn in game as well. It's quite a bit faster. It's a lot easier than glitch walking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this this looks like the way to do it. Do it on a quest. And just go go to like a a large space somewhere. <laughs> if you have a warehouse, yeah, it, do, it doesn't need to be warehouse. wide. It just needs to be really long. Really if you long. have like a long hallway in your house, I'm gonna do it up and down the hard. stairs. That's safe, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, when we were recording the other video, when I went uh, to change the batteries, <laughs> <laughs> I was walking down the stairs and looking through the quest uh, <laughs> like thingy. I was going down the stairs and it like it like lagged for a second, and then I like fell down like two stairs. <laughs> Not good. So, okay. Oh. To confirm the rumor on the other one, I tried it on this course. I was throwing it and catching it, and as long as it's not in the air for like more than a second, so you can throw it even a couple, All right. a couple feet. But if it's any longer than like a second, then it'll count as another stroke. So see, these aren't oh, counting. Right. These aren't counting as strokes. Good, but if I went any longer than that, it would count as a stroke. So. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Don't know. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this is definitely, this is definitely the way. Yes. I just need to, uh... I should have played on my quest. <laughs> so you saw it here first. Every single way you can possibly cheat in disc golf. Taking your friends in, you're not actually trying to get the top score, you're just trying to kind of have some fun doing it. Getting the bucket that I showed you is actually pretty funny, because you can take it and be like, hey, put all your frisbees in here, and then you can just run across yeah. the course. <laughs> and drag it in. All right, so I think the bucket, like using the bucket is probably the fastest way. Um, I think using the uh, clipboard or something probably is like not the greatest out of all of them. If you if you're on the quest, I think the fastest, most reliable way is to just do what I did, and if you can find a really long hallway, and then you can just walk up and down it. The faster you walk up and down, the faster you finish the hole. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, the clipboard is helpful because you can help your friends doing it too. You can also hit things yeah, yeah, yeah. with the clipboard, uh, but it doesn't work on all headsets. So on quest, you're going to be screwed. It's not yeah. going to do any good for you. And then what was the other? Oh yeah, like that walking one is good as well. But the problem with that one is it can make your fingers really tired, and then then you might accidentally drop it. Oh my gosh, I think the clipboard is the most fun because what you could do. Yeah. So very few of you out there can do this, but if you had this, and if you have some of those Beat Saber long grips, you can put the clipboard on your hand, and you could make it like an actual little golf club, and smack. 
could actually golf with this thing if you had an extended handle. Or hell, tape a little handle to it, and then you can you could have it, and you could be like, bam, with a frisbee. <laughs> that would be fun. Leap leg golf. Yeah, real golf. Actually, that's a good golf. idea. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, you're gonna see it when we go cheat our way through the extreme propulsion golf course. But that's gonna be another video. Yay! All right, potato, that was awesome. Thank you. You're always a pleasure right. to hang out with. Guy yeah, knows same with stuff. you, dude. I love love recording. Go oh, check wait, out potato <laughs> VR. Go check out his channel. He beat. He beat all the quests all by himself. It's impressive. I don't think I did. Most of them. Most of them. <laughs> I oh, beat good. one of them. <laughs> I'm still working on Crimson Cauldron, though. I'm cool. getting there. Everybody out there, thank you for hanging out with me. I will see you in another reality. I want to say the biggest ever thank you to our now four patrons. K27, Rocket Sauce 28 Fred Nepotebo, Ege Karatash. Thank you so much, all of you. Just stand and dance. All right, cool. <laughs>